What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how to restore your inventory data on your Minecraft FTB server, uh, whether it's a mod pack like Direwolf 20, Sky Factory, wada wada wada, as long as it's FTB and it has the very popular plugin, FTB Utilities Backups with over 2.8 million downloads, this is more than likely in the mod pack that you have, and if it's a mod pack that you got off Twitch, then it is most likely going to be included. So say that you catastrophically lose everything, take note of what I have right now, then there is a really simple way of restoring all of your inventory items. So let's say that I've lost everything and I need to restore to a previous save. What we need to do is just leave the server and then navigate to the server's files. Basically what you need to do first is check that inside of mods you have the add-on FTB Utilities Backups. This is the version that I have, obviously yours may be different, but hey, if you have this, great. If you don't, well then this may work for you, provided you have another backup plugin. So what we need to do is go back to the base folder, and you should see a backups folder. Inside of this you'll see all the current available backups for your server, which you can delete or do whatever with, but we're going to go back to the last save, so I'll go back to the, let's say, beginning of today. Open it up with something like 7-zip, go into the world folder, go into player data, and then you might get a bit confused when you see this. For now, just ignore this folder and keep it open. From the backups folder, go back a folder, go into world, followed by player data. As you can see, these files are basically the same, bar a new person who joined the server, but these are the user data files that contain all of your items and everything else related to your character, XP levels, etc, etc. So from here, we obviously don't know what we are, so we need to go to our web browser, and we'll just head across to mcuuid.net. Inside of here, type your username and hit enter. Once you've done that, you'll see your full UUID. What we need to do is simply look for this in both of these folders, in our 7-zip and in our player data folder. So we'll look for C397 in my case, which is here, and then also here. What you want to do before you go any further is right click, copy, new folder, current, backup. Just in case something goes wrong, paste it into here, and then head back to the backups folder. Now that we have our user files saved, it's fine to drag and drop them from the backup zip into our players folder. Click replace. And then you should be able to rejoin the server without having to restart it or anything like that. And you'll see that when we do eventually log in, we'll be in a completely different place with a completely different inventory, XP bar, etc, etc. If you remembered, we were on top of a tree, and now we're right in front of my base. Everything is still here, perfectly intact. We were right over there. And as you can see, my inventory has completely changed. This is back to what I had this morning, where I'm missing a lot of my items. Of course, from here you can go ahead and dump all of your items, or whatever you need to do, and you can go back to the current save if you'd like to keep some of your new items from the future. Of course, if you want to do that, just hit disconnect, go back to the folder with your current backup, copy it, paste it into the previous folder, and then rejoin the server. It's as simple as that. We have all of our new items right here, and the world is still completely intact, just we were somewhere over there. So that's it. Hopefully this helped you guys. If you managed to lose your inventories or XP or anything catastrophically and needed to get it back immediately from your Minecraft Forge mod pack server, this is something that'll help you a lot. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you have any other suggestions for new videos or anything else of that sort. My name is Ian Technobo. Thank you for watching Troubleshoot. I'll see you next time. Ciao.